sixth time mm -hmm. since 1960 that's happened. But as Brian Norcross said earlier, that doesn't mean we can't have a blockbuster September. It can turn around. They go in cycles. It can turn around big time. And yeah. what Dr. Postel and I are going to do right now is show you where we see that potential change coming up as we head towards September. We are seeing some slight changes, I think, over the tropics right now, in particular over the Atlantic. Let's have right. a look there right now through the water vapor imagery, which shows us uh, where the dry and moist uh, areas are. The bronze shading right in here is the dry air. And this is really over the last 24 hours, this loop. You can sort of see that dry air remaining in place. But I also want to point out that we've also encircled these areas here, some disturbances that have moved through, little ripples in the high altitude flow that are moving generally toward the west. Each one of these is going that way. And they don't look very impressive, right? But I mean, even right now. No, they don't look very impressive, the waves on their own. But you know what? The moisture content looks looks decent. Yes, and what you're referring right. to is is that dry air has basically uh, been now a displaced little a little bit farther to the north than it has been in, uh, I would say, recent weeks. Right. Okay. So overall, in this region, it's a little bit more humid now, right now, than it has been of late. And but I think the disturbances are weak. Right now, these disturbances are weak, and they're not taking advantage of an environment that is slowly improving right. for right. their chances. Right. I think that's going to change. So what we've got now, this is a way to explain the change changes that I think we're going to see. Here's a measure of the wind flow aloft. We have this flow at about 10,000 feet that's kind of going from west to east and it's kind of gently undulating. It's pretty straight and so there's not a lot of energy there in that flow and that is right now. But as we move through I think late next week we're going to start to see some stronger disturbances, bigger ripples, more amplitude, more yep. amplitude, higher uh, energy in the flow aloft plus, and that may help development in this part of the tropics. Plus keep our moisture and keep our moisture right. in place. So signs are slowly turning. Now, you're right, I don't think we're gonna have a hurricane before the end of August, but this is kind of a slow sort of transition to a more favorable environment. But plus, we also see for the first time on the European model, some yeah. of these waves holding together as they come, yeah. uh, at least through the, the MDR, the, the the, the main development region of the Atlantic. That's right. right. We're seeing signs in some of the weather models that more activity is picking up. So, right. so some, keep an eye like to this part of the tropics as we head in the next six to ten days. All right, what's going on in the Gulf? Yeah, this is right now. Though. We actually have something close to home that does look kind of interesting, mm -hmm. sort of. Uh, and what we've got, you can sort of see in the visible satellite shot over the last six hours, you might be thinking, what is going on? You know what? We've got a circulation in there, but it's aloft, about 10,000 feet, probably higher than that as well. And what we don't see with it it's a mid-level spin, but what we don't see with it is a circulation at the ocean surface. The winds are nearly uniformly from east to west. So an east wind underneath here, pretty strong, but yeah, not circular. Plus we should note the pressures are also pretty high too, so any rapid chance of us getting a surface circulation doesn't exist with those higher pressures. That's right, that's exactly right. right. So it's, it probably doesn't have much of a chance. In fact, the Hurricane Center, I think, has now a 20% chance of this developing over the next several days. As it generally moves westward toward, I think, the Texas Gulf yeah. Coast over the next maybe, couple maybe of days. Maybe some benefits though, right? Some rain? Could be, and if you move through to tomorrow morning, circulation will be about here, and a lot of the thunderstorm activity is pretty close to the coast. So it could be heavy rains all the way from Panama City to Houston and then moving that forward through tomorrow afternoon the center of circulation is probably right about here in this model pretty good estimate of where we think it'll be but keep in mind there can be a lot of rain right along the coast but again another sign of change potentially in the Gulf this is the first time we've even seen something like this yeah and you know you sort of get that sense sometimes it happens that way sort of a little incrementally moving in one direction you're right it doesn't come at you necessarily all at once. All right, guys, stick around top of the hour. We will talk about Evo That's right. in the West. Is mm -hmm. it going to add moisture to the Southwest and maybe even help out with the fires? We'll talk about that. Paul and Kelly back.